All right, guys, we're going to uh, take a look at solving a first order linear uh, homogeneous uh, partial differential equation of this form here. Uh, in this particular case, A and B are constants, but uh, they don't have to be. A and B can actually be functions of uh, X and Y. Uh, okay, so to solve this, I'm going to use the uh, change of variables method, and I'm going to use the variable S. Now, I know for multivariable calculus that when we differentiate u with respect to this new variable, we have to uh, take the partial derivative of u with respect to each variable in u, and then differentiate that variable with respect to the new variable, s. So we're going to do this again for y, and this is equal to 0. Uh, and so now we just compare the two equations. I have partial u, partial x, partial u, partial x. So these coefficients have to be equal. Likewise, I have partial u, partial y, partial u, partial y. So these coefficients have to be equal. So I really have three equations here. I have uh, du over ds is equal to 0 right here. And then I have dx over ds is equal to a. And then I have dy over ds is equal to b. Okay, so if we take a look at this guy here, uh, du over ds is 0 tells us that uh, u has to be a function uh, that is constant with respect to s. So that when I differentiate it with respect to s, I get 0. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use these two equations here to find out what this constant needs to be. All right, so if I solve this one for ds, I get dx over a is equal to ds. And then this one here, this one here, I get dy over b is equal to ds. So they're equal. Um, through integration, I get c plus x over a is equal to y over b right here. So solving for c, I get y over b minus x over a. And this is the constant that we're looking for. So my family of solutions for this PDE, when A and B are constants, would be U is equal to F of Y, y over B minus X over A. Okay, so now if I take this and I plug it back into our PDE, then I get F prime. I'm differentiating with respect to X, so I get times minus 1 over A. Now I already have an A here, so I multiply by A. And then for our second term, I get plus F prime. I'm differentiating with respect to Y. So I get a 1 over b, but I've already got a b here. So hopefully this equals 0. Now if I cancel out the a's and I cancel out the b's, I get minus f prime plus f prime, which indeed equals 0. So this represents my family of solutions to this PDE when f is any function that is continuous and differentiable. Alright guys, uh, this is the same type of equation, same type of equation as our previous example. Uh, the only difference is that uh, um, A is uh, defined as 1, it's just 1, and B is a function of X. Okay, so I've, got, I've gone ahead and uh, taken the derivative of U uh, with respect to our new variable S. Now we want to compare our coefficients, so we see that um, 1 is equal to ds over d, dx over ds, likewise um, sine of x 
has to be equal to our dy over ds. So our two, our three equations are d u over ds is equal to zero, dx over ds is equal to one, and dy over ds is equal to sine of x. Okay. Here we have u is a function that is constant with respect to s. Then we use these two equations to find what this constant is. Solving this guy for s ds, we get dx. So that's going to be equal to uh, ds over here. So ds from here is equal to dy over sine x. Okay, now multiplying through by sine x gives us sine of x dx is equal to dy. The integration gives us minus cosine of x is equal to y plus c. Solving for c gives us c is equal to minus cosine of x minus y. So this is the value of the constant up here. Now, uh, sometimes these negatives get to be rather irritating. Uh, what we can do is we can factor out a minus sign and write this as cosine of x plus y. And then we can simply take this minus sign and move it over here. Now, c is just a constant, so we can absorb this negative sign into the constant. It doesn't matter. Um, the whole point is that our family of solutions is a function that is any function that is continuous and differentiable um, that is of the form cosine of x plus y. I use this one here.